all right you lot know what time it is time for another youtube video and today we got some just a little bit different than usual instead of reacting to actual like scary short films i'm here as a professional paranormal expert to debunk some of these scary videos and unfortunately the first victim for today is bizarre bub scary comp v32 okay i'm here to debunk some of these scary videos and expose the truth to y'all as of course a professional paranormal expert but hey enough chit chat enough yapping let's get into the shit an urban explorer visits an abandoned house and encounters something terrifying the person exploring the house has no idea as to what happened it's there. not if only he knew it's not a test of video of my computer doesn't off. start just being terrible per usual an urban explorer visits an abandoned house and encounters something terrifying the person exploring the house has no idea as to what happened there. So first off, rookie mistake, exploring dark abandoned shit by yourself at nighttime. Rookie mistake. Let's continue. If only he knew, he would have held off from visiting this place. It was only after posting this video that a local Sweet resident too. commented on the history of this home. According to them, a mother and her two sons used to live there. But, unfortunately, something really tragic happened to them. One day, one of her sons goes missing. Then, a few days later, the mother is found dead, along with oh. her other son, who she murdered before taking her own life. The horrible incident that took place inside this home has led local residents to believe that the house is cursed and that a sinister presence resides inside. The video that was captured may just prove that. This is what was caught. I would be scared if I wasn't a paranormal expert in debunking this BS. Silly. So obviously he has somebody with him. No, that's up there by themselves making a tapping noise. What am I even looking at? Oh, something open. So obviously his friend is up there opening it himself, himself. Ah, yes, circle the green. A face can be seen from inside the ceiling. It's not clear as to who or what was inside, but it's obvious that somebody or something was up there. Now, it might be the case that the thing up there is actually a squatter, but given the history of this place, probably a squatter. Help but think that this might have been a paranormal encounter, and perhaps the sinister entity that is said to live there. But, as always, I'll let you decide as to what this might have been. Ghost or something else? This is squatter. Let me know what you think. Debunked. Morales, Debbie, and her friends are tubing through a canal when they capture something creepy on camera. This video was taken on July... I actually think I've seen this one before on TikTok. I think it was something like there was something swimming in the water next to them or some shit like that. But prior to this date, about five years ago, someone had drowned in the same canal that Morales is in. Oh, wow. Little does she know that she and her friends would capture something disturbing. Take a look. Oh, yeah, the drowned person came back to haunt y'all. It was only after posting the video on Facebook and that will low key be terrifying. She noticed viewers think that this could have been the ghost of the victim who had drowned. Others think that this could have been something else, perhaps a creature. No one knows for sure. So, obviously, as a paranormal expert, I could tell you what that is, and that's simply just garbage floating under the water, and the currents are moving it very, very fast. 
uh, the black thing that's supposed to be the head is simply just a heavier object that's bringing the white cape pieces of, like plastic behind it, bringing it with them. Come on, I do this. I do this for real. But it seems like more people believe that this might be the spirit of a deceased who appears to be reaching for the water tube to save itself. Unfortunately, it doesn't know that it's too late. But of course, what are your thoughts? Paranormal or not? I feel like the actual narration makes it even scarier than what it really is. I feel like the videos by themselves aren't that scary, but the narration like... In the middle of the night, an OD Jack is on his phone when something downright creepy happens. In the corner of his room, there's a doll. OD Jack writes, I was on my phone in my room when I heard something. This is what he caught. burn it burn it now obviously i wasn't actually scared um it, damn it didn't catch me off guard at all um what that simply is is just a doll maybe a window was open or maybe there's somebody behind what looks like a dresser that pulled the doll okay because what makes you randomly just start recording a doll because at first when they said it's a doll i thought like its head was popping out from behind the dresser but it looks like it's just a doll sitting there so what made this person just randomly start recording this doll you see what i'm saying obviously it's fake paranormal expert here don't worry i got y'all i'll make sure y'all are safe out here you know that's what i do the doll appears to have moved by itself now, it could be the case that friction was responsible for this, but regardless of whether or not this was something paranormal, the video is still nonetheless pretty creepy. The question still remains though, as not enough evidence is given to prove either claim. Did friction have to do anything with this? Is this supposed to be looking at him or at them or is it looking towards something else? I'm so confused what- Is something creepy on camera or if there's any ghost video? Let's get back to the video. Send them stuff if you catch something online. Ryan Ramirez is in his backyard when he sees something inside his house that scared the living hell out of him. Brian writes, I was home alone when I took my dog out to the backyard to go to the bathroom. As I was waiting for him to finish, I look up to my parents' bedroom and see this. So what we have here is simply just a person Trick of the light, you know? You have a person standing in a dark room looking down at them, and he has a light shining directly behind him to give him that effect of like, oh, it's dark in there. Oh, shit. It's obviously just a person, you know, standing there, and yeah, that's all it is. The light shining from the person's phone camera is making the eyes look white and look ghastly. I got y'all. This is what I do. Regardless of whatever this was, there's no way that Brian was able to sleep that same night. Talk about nightmare fuel. This is creepy. Personally, I would have just got out the house. I'm not staying. Susie Somori lives in a three-story house with lots of stairs in several rooms. Out of all the rooms, <laughs> there's one in particular that she stays away from. On the third floor, there's a large vacant room with a painting of a sun on one of its walls. She doesn't know why, but there's something about this painting that makes her feel uneasy. I would feel uneasy too. Look at it. Ambience of the room. Ugh. Uh. Help but feel like the painting is responsible for the dreaded feeling she gets whenever she walks in. So, thinking it's all in her head, she tries her best to ignore this feeling. But then, one day. Susie encounters something that scared the living daylights out of her. Susie is home alone when she captures the following on camera. What 
what we have here uh, is one of her friends in the room. Susie ends the video there, but little does she know that things were about to get worse. One day, Susie's niece is playing inside the room, and while spying on her, she captures this. So what we have here is simply just a kid being a kid. Now, what you may have seen from me was not terrifying. I just want to get a better look at the bigger picture and see what we were observing. What we have here is simply just a kid being a kid, you know, having an imaginary friend talking, you know. What can I say? We all did it as a kid. <laughs> Her niece appears to be talking to the painting as though she's having a conversation with it. Susie didn't like this, and so she asked her as to who she was talking to. This is what she said. Did you like him? Yeah, Gilbert's like one of my best friends. Yeah. Where did he come from? I don't know. I, I think the man that, that used to live here painted it. Is, he, is Gilbert friendly? Or does he speak to you? Yeah. What does he say? Can I don't play. Susie doesn't know what to make of this. It seems that her niece had befriended Gilbert, the painting on the wall. She's made an imaginary friend, but the thing said by the so-called friend doesn't sit well with Susie. And so, she decides to spy on her once more. But this time, she captures something even more strange. Her niece appears to be looking for something underneath the floorboard. It was only after her niece had fallen asleep that she decided to investigate the spot. She checks it out and ends up finding something disturbing. Take a look. Is it wiring, it looks like? Gilbert! There must be a moon in the house somewhere. There are tally marks on the back of it too, I've seen that. Needless to say, Susie was speechless. So, now the more I watch this, the more I feel like it was all just a setup. Because there's no way, there's no way some paranormal entity can expect a small child to pull up a whole floorboard. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Susie, I'm on to you. You can't fool me. I've seen it all before as a paranormal expert myself, you know. What's more strange about this is the Ouija board itself. If you look closely, the board appears to have the same painting of the sun that's on the wall. This can't be a coincidence. Susie is certain that the board is somehow connected to the painting. Well, yeah. This unsettling discovery has led Susie into researching the history of her home. And, after much research, 
she found this. There is a photo of the house from 1916 and it was built in 1902. So this would be the first or one of the first families to live in this house. As you can see, there are six people present in the photo. I'm looking at the English census records. I found that the father would be called John. The mother was called Maud. The next one in the window too. Daughter Dorothy. The birth of a little boy called Gilbert was also registered here in 1911. So he would be about five or six in this photo. I'm unsure why he's not with the rest of his family in the photo. What they did to him. I just have an overwhelming feeling that something really terrible happened to him at the hands of his own family. The weirdest part is that this is where the sun painting is situated in the house. That's his room. Gilbert was the name of a child who used to live in her house and whose room has the painting of the sun, which seems to have been named after him. She has yet to post more info on the history of her home. For now, she continues researching in the hopes of putting an end to this mystery. Is Gilbert the supposed ghost that talks to her niece? Or... Is it something else? Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. I feel like that's like kind of sweet, low key. Just imagine this ghost child, you know, something terrible did happen to that child, and his spirit has came back and found a friend in Susie's niece. That's low key kind of sweet. Now, personally, you know, niece, why are we talking to paranormal figures? Go make real life alive friends, please. Okay. But even the ghost is real, which as a paranormal expert, I'm here to tell you it's not, you know. But even if the ghost was real, I feel like it doesn't seem like a malevolent spirit. Maybe Gilbert was just trying to show her the origin of the picture. Yeah. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the something that's a little bit tiny bit new. It's kind of like the same thing, just different format, if we're being honest. But, uh, will her boyfriend see with another girl? I would sure hope he doesn't. But, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you're having a good morning, good afternoon, good night, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you later.